Hello today. Oh, this don't look very good, does it? It looks like a fucking spectrum port immediately. And we're going to have a game of Emlyn Hughes International Soccer on the Amstrad CPC. Now, I did originally play this on the Commodore 64, and that was all right. Actually, it was a good game. Right. Now, I do get, I get the feeling it's not going to be no way as good. Right. The problem with this... Well, until you get used to it, it's got a weird menu system. It's got lots and lots of options. It's lots and lots and lots of options. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put that down to two minutes. Because I don't want this going on for a long time. So you've got all different things to tweak your game. Now, you can have one or two players. So you have one or two versus computer. Right, home and away. I'm not going to bother about all this because I may get to do a friendly skill level five. I think you can have that up to ten and as low as one. We'll keep it on five. Equal skill, back hills. You see, you can, you can put all like these different things on. Kick directions, auto goalies. You can actually change if you want a manual, obviously. Auto. Reselect. Uh, so that auto reselects the player. Maybe I put that on. Substitutes. What's that? Points for? Well, why is that only two? Sure, that should be three, right? Right. So okay. It's not like it's going to matter because I'm only going to do a friendly. Right. Let's get out of that. Now. This is where things get a little bit stupid, in my opinion. Right, to play a game as a um, human player, you have to first edit team. Yeah, I said edit, edit team. And then what you do, where it says computer, you type in your name. So now you obviously can tweak this you can actually tweak your team if you want to uh, speed is that speed oh defense yeah ignore what I'm saying here but yeah you can tweak it Uh, right, all I care about, it's, a, it's also a managerial, play, it's a player managerial game, but you can, but what I'm more interested in is playing the game, I don't really care about uh, the managerial side. Um, now, we can arrange a friendly, all this just for a fucking game of football, right, England versus, uh, I don't know, let's play Scotland, right. Now we can play match. Just see all this just to fucking have a friendly match. Why couldn't it just have uh, in the menu one player friendly or two player friendly? Just so you can get used to the game. No. I think it was like this on the Commodore 64 as well. It's too much fucking about. But the game played good. Now as I said this looks like it's going to be a spectrum port. By looking at the size of the screen. Actually I think spectrum games had a bigger screen than that. But that looks really tiny, that screen. So we've got mode one graphics, so four colours, so at least they've got the picture. You can change the colour if you want. Right, here we go. So we're the ones in white. Come on. Fucking that cow. Bloody, you got away from him to turn round. Come on, where's my player? Oh, what? Oh, bollocks. Why can't this? So at least we get sound effects. Come on, pass it to you, mate. Where are you? What? Come on. Oh, fucking hell. So you see a little arrow, a power, uh, just above his head. That tells you what player you're controlling. Fucking hell. Come on, you. Tackle the ball. Get the ball. Alright, I, I will say this. This is certainly not the worst 8-bit football game. I've played a hell of a lot worse. 
it moves at a good pace we got sound effects right so that's half time so it's two a minute per side perhaps I should have um, up the minutes I don't know it's just to see how it plays actually I'm not bothered about all the managerial part you know you can go in depth with a football game to me it's how the game plays that's what that's what I really think is important to me is how it plays because you can have all the men all the menu systems all the options in the world if the game plays shit and it's not worth it but this this actually doesn't play too badly considering the size of the screen the graphics look okay I mean even these four colors you know you can definitely tell who's who and you can change the colors apparently so it's not a terrible football game it's not as good as the Commodore 64 version but it's certainly not a terrible game Certainly better than fucking Gazza's. Gazza Superstar Soccer. That was just shit. Right, come on. Can we get a goal? Can we get a goal? Come on. Get the fucking ball, you fucking arsehole. So where's all my fucking players? Where's the... Come on. What? Oh. Right, so that's full time. Well, I think we'll have another go at that. I think it definitely feels achievable to score a goal in this. Maybe I should have cha changed the minutes, but we'll just keep it as one minute per side. And is it really necessary that we've got to wait for the players to go off the pitch? And come on, why can't I just push a button? Why can't I just push a button? Oh, you can. You've got to push space bar. Okay. Right, hold down your fire button. So we should be able to play a match again. And it should hopefully still be on the right settings. But you've got to make sure, because when you load up the game, it's always defaulted on computer versus computer. You've got to make sure you um, go to edit your team and play, and um, make sure you type in your name or enter your name, because you don't type it. You do type it, actually and make sure you've got a human player. I think that also goes if you want to play two players. You've got to make sure there's um, two, you know, got to edit your team first. Right, come on, it's that little twirl. Why does he have to do that little twirl? Fucking hell. Come on, for fuck's sake. Come on, you, get down there. But you attack what the fuck? Goal kick. Now as you see you can change the skill if you want to. Come on, oh that was a long ball. Fucking get away! Oh. Right, got the ball. Well, that's the first half done. I mean, as I said, it's okay. It's okay. Full price game this would have been, so that wouldn't have been okay. Budget at best. I wouldn't mind paying two ninety nine for it, but no way would I pay full price for it, or even mid price. Right, no, I can't push space bar. So you got to wait for all this bullshit. Why can't I just get on with the game? So they're on the ball. They're kicking off. The screen is so fucking tiny though, what? Just curious to play the Spectrum version to see... Now I heard the Spectrum version is pretty good. Uh, 
And it makes me think, could this have been a port of the Spectrum version? Where's my players? Right. Come on. Why the fuck did he? Oh. Doogee score. Doogee. Doogee is whatever his name is. Doogee is. They scored. So we'll wait for it to all come into position. Go. Fucking hell, what? Ah! Oh. They got to school again? No, they didn't. And it's, uh, it's full time. Yeah, it's all right, this one. It's all right. Certainly isn't the worst. There's a lot of shit football games on the 8-bit systems. <laughs> Believe me. This one's... This one... Isn't bad. It's no way as good as the Commodore 64 version. But for an 8-bit football game, it certainly isn't bad. Graphics look alright. Pitch is a little bit small. The screen is really small. Um... I suppose the graphics look fine. Maybe it'd be better in two players. There's a lot of options, so you got it's more of a, I think it's more of a player manager game than anything. But I'm not going into the managerial part because managerial football games ain't really my thing, really, to be honest with you. Anyway, gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.